We've come to David Wilson Homes to ask them questions about the, the houses that they're building on Windmill Place. What's the benefit of buying a new, one, a new building home instead of an old one? You get all the energy saving things in it like um, air source heat pumps and the solar panels and it just it's a better house. Do you use any recycled materials in the construction of a house? Yes, the, uh, in the insulation in the cavity walls and that helps keep the house nice and warm. How high would the buildings get up to? To the very top is probably five and a half, six metres. Roughly how many bricks will you need to use to make a house? I would say there's probably 10,000 bricks in each house. Do the houses have any special energy saving features, e.g. solar panels, rainwater collection? We're using air source heat pumps, which uh, saves a lot of money for the, the people living there on their electric bills and that. It actually um, takes the air, takes the heat out of the air, then transforms that and heats up the water and that heat goes around to the radiators and into the cylinder. So it's quite an energy saving thing. We also have um, solar panels on the roofs and uh, they heat up water as well. Do the solar panels and those heating thing or bobs come free in the house or do you have to pay extra? Whatever you pay for the house, that's included in there. How many houses have solar panels? I think it's about two thirds. How much money do you spend on building all the houses in this block? To build the 99 houses here it will be something in the region of about £8 million. Out of the rough £8 million, how much would you spend on bricks? Well, Bricks are about £170 per thousand, um, so Dave, <laughs> I would probably say somewhere in the region of about half a million pounds. Out of the eight million pounds, how much do you spend on the roofing tiles? Around about the same, I would think, because roof tiles are a bit more expensive than bricks, so about half a million, I would think. What's the profit do you make out of building all these houses? <laughs> well, to, if, you cal if you calculate how much money that we expect to make from selling the private houses, so say that's in the region of about 19 million pounds. Okay, so if, if you round that up to 20 million, 40% on the price of the land, so actually to buy the ground that you're building on, okay, you would spend between 40 and 45% on building the houses and other things in between. So generally your profit, depending on how it goes, is somewhere between 10 and 20%. How many houses or flats are you building here? There's 99 on here, there's 59 private houses and then there's 40 what we call extra care units being built in a block of um, apartment style at the front of the site. If somebody wanted to buy all the houses and the buildings on the, and the land all together, how much roughly would it cost? Okay, at the start when people want to sell the land, you have to try and calculate along with other people who build houses how much you're going to pay for it, um, and how much you're going to sell it for, so that you can see how much profit you're going to make. So if you wanted to walk along and buy every house that I'm building on here, it'd just cost you £19 million. So you need to go and ask your mum and dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of money.